And I'm thinking the... I think the best idea to like start in Guild Wars is to actually avoid doing level 20 in pre-searing because you will just burn yourself out. And it might happen to me if I'm not careful. But the best thing to do would be like create one, one character in every campaign and go through the through the first part of the game basically go to the part where you are able to like switch to other campaigns so you would have experience all all the content before you would join the campaign if you were to start in different campaign with your character and this is also a good idea to try three different main main professions and maybe also three different secondary professions for for those mains because the feel of most of the classes or professions in Guild Wars is pretty different. And I think the part where you figure out the figure out the feel and the way with the profession is the one of the most interesting and enjoyable parts of the game. When you have just like a few few skills in your slots and you are trying to figure out something that works. And you are mixing and matching from, from the main profession and from the secondary profession. Just trying to survive. <laughs> and pre-searing is not exactly exactly the best place to do that. You should just like do a little bit of it, I would say. I would say if you if you have, have the guts, you should try to stay in pre-searing until you are able to kill the char bosses. Because I think it's one of the more challenging things you can you can do in Guild Wars. And it will like teach you a thing or two about about pulling pulling enemies, picking your targets. You have to like think what you are doing. And it is quite easy to get killed. If you just want to get some 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 character with legendary defender of Ascalon title, I would say just pick Elementalist because it is much much easier than probably anything else, or maybe even a Mesmer. But make sure to pick Elementalist as your secondary profession because you can still like utilize some of your mesmer skills but you you could use the raw power of firestorm and flare or what is the name of the single target skill you get with with elementalist on the order i'm going to deal with these and I might be able to, like, draw the, the Mesmer boss. What is this? Gust Espire. Gust Espire. What a beautiful name you have here, Gust Espire. I can just try to, like, hit the guy from here. Okay, let me just heal up a little for a good measure. Okay, maybe I will deal with this instead. And let's try to use the wolf a little bit more. Okay, now we have dealt with these guys. I can focus on this 
Ghost Aspire. Okay, the Adder Feast heals him quite nicely. Okay. That is something I didn't want to see. But I think we can manage. Okay, that wasn't too difficult. That was pretty nice. Nice job. Good job, everyone. Even you, Nameless Wolf. What shall be your name? I still haven't decided. Like, it shouldn't be too complicated. Yeah, I'm still... <laughs> quite... Like, I don't know what to say about the back <laughs> on this wolf. <laughs> He's like 90% back. And <laughs> Like, he sort of reminds me of American football player. But I'm afraid I don't know any American football players by name. It might be a fitting name for this wolf. Like, I don't know anything about American football at all. At least that the ball they use is not really round. Okay, so this guy should go through through the middle, as always. Okay, well, let's see. Nice and easy. And one more double shot, and you are dead. Okay, bone staff. Yeah, the drop rate of the char bags and char salvage kits is quite low, so I'm quite lucky I've managed to find the, that player who sold me those two bags. Because it wouldn't be possible like, to just collect items in peace. I would have full bags all the time. Yeah, there is a small fly flying around my head and it tries to get in inside my nose and it's quite annoying. So if you hear me blowing, blowing air through my nose loudly, it means the fly managed to get inside and try I'm trying to just get rid of it. <laughs> so don't mind me, I'm just trying to not inhale the fly. We had like a small fly apocalypse here because we've tried to like replant all the plants we have because they they needed needed like the new new earth and some more space to live actually. Oh, we might try to kill these from up there. And the disaster was that inside the inside the new new mulch or earth we've bought for for the flowers or plants was like full of these these little flies, and they just kept multiplying. And we have like we had like hundreds of them flying around. And it was almost impossible to get rid of them. So it's actually a nice change of pace that I have only one fly flying around me instead of several at once. Oh, that's pretty nice damage. Okay, I'm taking some damage, but we can spread spread ourselves out a little. Okay. 
Okay, that was pretty nice. But this guy will try to avoid me again. So maybe we will be able to get him from... Okay. Come on. Come on. They are not so dumb. Or are they? Are you coming back for some more? Okay, I don't have time for you. But I mean for now, I'm, I think I'm done for today. It was... It was a long day. But I can say that I'm comfortable at clearing the char bosses with the ranger. And it works reasonably well. I say the elementalis is still really faster than, than the ranger, but I f maybe find the ranger more fun, to be honest. So let's finish the quest. Okay, 1000 experience, because I don't think I will be doing more than, than one level tomorrow anyway. So it's okay if I complete a quest at, at level 11. So with all that said, thank you for watching and I will see you next time.